What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode of the England Euros Challenge. Today we are having a massive game. It's all basically one game episodes from the knockout rounds, but this one's going to be really, really tough. This could be the last episode of the series because we're going to be playing Spain um, in the quarterfinals of the Euros. Now this is going to be huge because Spain have a quality team on FM. With the players that they have, it's ridiculous. They have the likes of Casillas, De Gea in goal. Uh, PK, Espelicueta, uh, Bartra, Ramos, um, Alba, Busquets, Thiago, Coque, Juan Mata, David Silva, Isco, Iniesta, Pedro, Diego Costa, Morata. We are screwed um, because the team is a hell of a lot better than ours. But hopefully we'll get the win. We've played pretty well up until this point. Um, other than the 4-0 loss to France, we beat Wales, Turkey, and, uh, well, we never beat Turkey. We drew against Turkey. But beat Slovenia um, in the previous episode, 3-1. We did concede against Slovenia, sadly, which could be bad because Slovenia are a much weaker side than Spain. So probably going to concede quite a few. But this could be the last episode of the series. If it is, let me know in the comments who would you want me to take over next. I could do a possible Euros challenge or do a different, complete, like, completely different save. Maybe a Chelsea save or something like that on FM. Um, I could do... Uh, one in Spain, I could take over Juventus, I could do one in Italy um, that isn't Juventus. Um, I don't know, let me know in the comments. But anyway, let's get into this Spain versus England. We're going to skip forward a couple of days. Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's tomorrow, it's going to be It's going to be tough. With the way that England are playing in real life, we're, we're going to suck. Wait, the England semi-final is in just a couple of days later? Are you kidding me? That's mad. Right, uh, last time Slovenia, your team played very well. You'll be hoping you... Um, it gives us confidence. Hopefully, hopefully the boys can, the lads can actually continue this run. Barton feels confidence flowing. Judgment day for England. You're going to say that after every game. Um, I w it wouldn't be such a big deal if we lost, to be honest. Um, because the quarterfinals is probably what was expected. I might get sacked. Never know. Um, but it could be what we're expected. So the team that we're going to go with, I hate the fact that all of them are rested. They don't need rest. Right, they're in the Euros. They they can bloody well play. Um, right, so I'm gonna play Henderson and Milner. I've actually got the two highest ratings in the squad. Um, so I'm gonna play those. If we sort by highest rating, it's Henderson and Milner, followed by uh, Luke Shaw, Raheem Sterling, Oxley Chamberlain, and Kyle Walker. Then like Wayne Rooney, Gary Cahill's not played too well, so maybe we'll take Gary Cahill off. Um, we could take Cahill off for John Stones. Maybe play him in that role. We could do that, I guess. We'll swap Smalling for Stones. Smalling's probably better on his left foot than what Stones is. Other than that, this team's actually pretty good. Jeremy Vardy, Wayne Rooney. I could play Wayne Rooney in that cam spot and go 4-2-3-1. We'll try it. I think we'll try it. Um, Rooney in the shadow. Uh, we'll play him in the advanced playmaker. Maybe shadow striker. He plays better at shadow striker, but we have Jeremy Vardy. I don't particularly want to do that. Uh, James Milner... We'll play him as a, a ball winner midfielder support. Uh, Henderson could be a box to box midfielder. We don't want two box to box midfielders. Full backs, right, what's our tactics? Look to over overlap, pass into space, retain possession, stay on feet. I'm going to stick with attacking because we need to win it, right? I don't want it to go to extra time. Everyone's going to be knackered if it goes to extra time. So hopefully we can win this. We're going to submit the team, guys. This could be the do or die episode for. For this, I'm going to say that every time because it can well be. Um, apply advice to team. So, uh, we will show... Uh, uh, David Silver actually has quite a good weak foot. Uh, Pedro has like incredible weak foot. He can play with his left and right. Uh, type marking. We'll type mark Morata. Although he's not the tallest. We'll type mark Ramos because in the... With the corners, he might well... Be pretty good. I'm not sure who Fontas is. Um, we'll close down Isco because he's very creative. Aspilicueta is quite good as well. So we could change that in game if need be. But we're going to pick up where we last left off. We're going to tell the lads I have faith in them. Hopefully, they can go pretty well. John Stone says very poor morale. That's not going to help. Let's turn this down a little bit. We'll just go with this. We'll go with the regular. Oh, man. It's going to be tough. But also, yeah, let me know. When this series does end, I do need your help in the comments, guys. So if you could leave a comment, that will be absolutely great. And I'll most likely reply to it as well. I always do now. Um, so if 
you do um, want me to do a, a different Euros challenge, maybe I could do a different Euros challenge, um, do it with a different team, or if you want me to do a an actual save with a club, um, like actual club football, then let me know about that as well. Because if we if we can do one with like a big team, like I said, maybe like the Real Madrids or the Juventus, or we could do one smaller with like Lazio, AC Milan, um, Inter Milan. Um, or we could do one with like Everton, uh, Southampton, things like that in the Premier League. I need your help with that because I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet after this. But we're starting off pretty well. Five shots, one on target. They've had two. So we've actually been a better team so far. Shaw. Shaw finds Henderson. Henderson back to Shaw. Whips it in. Vardy. Oh, Milner. Finds Kyle Walker. Please, Kyle Walker. Ooh, great save by De Gea. This is good football. So far, we've been the better team. I like this. I like this. But like I said, it only takes... Well, I never said that, actually. It only takes... With FM... And it takes one shot to go in. And then that's it. Because you might play really well, but that doesn't guarantee the victory. So, I'm not sure. Come on, Chamberlain. Chamberlain finds Rooney. Oh, he does a dummy. Falls to Sergio Busquets. Busquets. Not quite sure what that was. I guess he just clear it. But he didn't even try to, to pass it to a teammate. He just booted it. Alright, that's a good sign, I guess. Because that means they're worried. They have a lot more possession. But we're doing better. We've had eight corners already. Christ. If we can get a goal before half time, I'll be happy. Jordi Alba whips it in. Joe Hart picks it up. Morata was very, very close to that. Come on, Joe Hart. Let's speed this up to what it was, actually. This is ridiculously slow. It's a little bit faster. Hart to Walker. Walker? What's he going to do with it? He gets past his man. He's got the pace. Who is that? Fontas. I'm not sure how much pace he's got. I don't really know too much about Fontas. It's going to be difficult for. For Walker to take Alba. Although he's done him. Holy Christ. Vardy. Let's go. Uh, I would shout. But it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. So let's not do that. Um, we are currently 1-0 up against Spain. We could go into the semi-final. If the, I will be very, very happy. If we get into the semi-final. Of the Euros. With England. Right. Because they can not They can barely get through the group stage in real life. That's a really loud car. They can barely get through the group stage. After drawing to Slovakia. 0-0. What a finish. Great pass from Walker. Walker is so good. He's also been probably our best player so far in the Euros in real life. Come on. Half time, one the lap. This is good. This is good. But I want to tell him not to get complacent. They do. I don't want to tell him. I... They cannot get complacent because if they do, especially at the back, this could be bad for us. Oh, they still look stressed. That's not good. Come on, lads. Please don't let Spain score. We've only we've limited them to, to two shots. But so far, it's been pretty good. But like with FM, I'm worried when I only have a one goal lead going into half time because I might not change anything. Apart from the team talk, I might not change anything. But they might make tactical changes that counteract what I'm doing. So for example, they can go on a counter attack now. And I, I'll be attacking, they'll just get the ball boot or they'll run the score. But you never know. They might not change anything as well, and then we come out playing the same football is what we did before which all Diego Costa's on so it's Koke they're going a little bit more attacking they've taken Busquets off for a Koke they're starting to get a couple of shots off please don't let them just score with like two shots on target please we've had four to be fair it's 1-0 right who's not playing too well Raheem Sterling take him off for do you know what we're going to take Oxide Ch Oxide Chamberlain's actually been playing really well I'm going to take I'm going to bring on the Lana the line is right foot as well, so I'd like to play him on the right over the left. Even though so is Oxide Chamberlain, but still. Jordi Alba finds Ramos. If they score, it's going to be really, really tough to come back from this. Diego Costa finds Pedro. Pedro, great pass to Diego Costa. This is good football so far. Walker, come on, you got the pace over Costa. Even I know that. Oh, Milner clears. Finds Walker. Come on, let's go. Let's go. What a pass. Ramos going to beat him? Yeah, finds Alba. To Koke. Looks like it's going to be their highlight. Silva finds Diego Costa. Back to Silva. This is good football. Pedro gets past Kyle Walker. Why is Jordi Alba? Is he going to whip it in? He might pass it. No way is he going to cross that with his right foot. Great tackle by Walker. Falls to Thiago though. Who Thiago is actually very, very good on FM. He's so technically well-rounded. It's ridiculous. Jordi Alba finds Pedro. Oh. We got away with that one, boys. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw finds Vardy. Is this going to be anything or is this going to be the end of the highlight? Vardy, if we can get a goal, this would be incredible. Henderson finds Luke Shaw. If we can get 2-0 lead, I'll be very, very happy. Nope. 
Nothing from that. Our players are actually playing pretty well. Apart from Wayne, uh, Wayne Rooney in that camp spot, we're actually playing really well. But I'm too scared to take him off because he's currently captain and it'll probably mess things up. Do not get a red card. For the love of God, do not get a red card. Please. Please, players. Please. Do not do this to me. Ah. 78 minutes in. Alright. What do we do from here? Because these, these substitutions could make or break this team. James Milner's been playing really well. We'll take off Henderson. We'll bring him on. F we'll bring on... Hmm, we'll bring on Drinkwater. Prime is a deep line playmaker. Defend. We'll get him defensively sound. We'll play Ross Barkley for Wayne Rooney. That's a good that's a good substitution. Attacking midfield. Hopefully he plays really well. This could do or this could make or break our game. So hopefully I've made the right substitutions. I don't want them to score in the late minutes of the game because if they do, then it's going to extra time. If we can get a second, I'll be happy. I'll be more confident. But Vardy, oh god no, they're gonna counter. This is what I said at half time. Diego Costa. Luke Shaw, what a god, nice. Mine's Bartra. Blame Bartra over PK. Maybe they, I didn't. I don't know if they subbed him on, but they're playing him over PK because they got Ramos next to him. Thiago, Francisco, falls to drink water. Very well done. Good ball. Good ball. Drink water. Finds Chamberlain. Chamberlain, come on, man. Go all the way. Ooh, just wide. This could be a win. This is a massive win if it is. De Gea finds Bartra. Sergio Ramos. Silva. Oh god, no. No, please. Diego Costa. Milner again. Milner's been playing so well for us. Nice. Straight the keeper. Nice. You caught it. Good. I was expecting a mess up from the keeper. <laughs> They've had six shots, one on target. They've had 13 shots, four on target. They've had 20% more possession than us, though. But Spain are that kind of team, I guess. They do pass it around. They like the Barcelona style of... of uh, international teams they kind of just pass it around do like tiki taka passing whatever it's called um Delana find shrink water come on Walker I'm not sure what that was oh oh Alba's messed it up oh De Gea with the save De Gea's probably been their man of the match so far is this another highlight is this going to be a massive highlight Milner whips it in Fox to Barkley Barkley finds Milner oh oh that's a lovely one too pretty poor pass from Barkley but he recovered it, and Milner's going to let it go out. Is that the end? Milner probably could have got to that, and probably would have been better rather than a corner. Because he was already inside the box, quite deep in the box. It's another corner, are you kidding me? This is mad. This is the longest highlight I've ever seen. Lalana whips it in. Cleared by his go, finds David Silva. Please end the highlight now, for Christ's sake. Milner, you god. You're, he's on the yellow card, though. I'm a bit nervous. I don't have any subs, so if he gets sent off, that's it. It's the end. Oh. Right this minute, 91st, 92nd, we've won the game, lads. Oh, no, please, no. Please, no. Clear. Body clears. No. Ref, by the whistle. Asbilo quitter. By the whistle. Pedro finds Diego Costa. His guy's going to score a 40-yard one goal. Pedro's going to score a 50-yard one goal. Milner clears it. He boots it. Full time. Let's go. Let's go. That's a massive win. Woo! Proud of your performance. That was really special, lads. Really, really special. I'm so happy. So we can't beat Turkey, but we can beat Spain. Dominate the game. Well, not in terms of possession, but in terms of shot and things. Dominate the game. And that's it. England edge narrow Spain uh, game. Nice. England win in quarterfinals. Fans are pleased. You're, the fairy tale continue. Another superb win for your team. You must be delighted. Oh, it's a brilliant feeling. Brilliant feeling. What's all talking about, do you think? Uh, get a goal just before half time. Certainly made my team talk a lot easier. European Championship draws. England against Belgium. Oh, I can imagine Belgium's team really good on FM because they have also really good players. Courtois, Vertonghen, Alderweireld, Vermaelen, Company, Nangolan, who's also one of those like Thiago figures. He's very, very, very well rounded. He's good everywhere. Uh, Witzel, Morales, De Bruyne, Hazard. Fellaini, Lukaku, Benteke, Batshuayi. I don't know, man. They're good. They're a good team. It's going to be a tough game. Smalling on form. 8.7 match rate. What, what a lad. Walcott, delighted with the victory. England improves to prize package. We 
He's so far beaten Wales, Slovenia and Spain. And will now finish, uh, finish? face Belgium. Germany, England's fierce rivals are just one of three teams that potentially await England in the final if they get through. England versus Germany final. And we won 5-3. That'd be great. England are now performing well beyond expectations. In the European Championship this season. I think it's 5-1, wasn't it? Germany, England. I think it was. I think I just messed that up. 5-3. England squad reacts positively to Spain results. So that is going to be the end of it, guys. I know these episodes are quite short now because there's only one, ep uh, one game in the episode. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the